This is this is a motor. This is a '98 um, Jeep Cherokee 242 block, um, six-cylinder high output. I uh, just got it back from the machine shop. We bored the cylinders uh, 20 over, 20 thousandths of an inch over, and um, I've cleaned the block with some brake cleaner and an air compressor. Um, I ran some uh, one of the old lifters through each lifter cylinder uh, to clean those out and sprayed them with brake cleaner and an air, a uh, little shot of air as well. Uh, I've got uh, to do a plastic gauge on the uh, both one of the main journals and one of the connecting rod journals. Uh, so I'm gonna <coughs> install one piston, uh, probably piston number three, and then I'm going to install piston number seven and um, piston number or crank journal three and main journal three and main journal seven are the main journals for this motor um, starting from the front of the block so this would be number three here and then this would be number seven um, I've got everything that I need except for the uh, timing set that's the old timing set and I'm waiting for a new one that's been ordered um, there's all the crank shaft clamps um, new lifters new bearings for all the piston connecting rods there's the piston rings um, this is an oil pump and then <clears throat> I've left all the bolts in sequence um, for the motor punched into these cardboard boxes this is a remanufactured cylinder head that I purchased um, because the two cylinder heads that I had from the two motors that I had were both cracked there is my crankshaft. It's been turned. My camshaft has been cleaned and it was in good shape so I didn't need to um, turn that or machine it or polish it. And then here are my pistons. I've got new pistons that have been bored or that are set for a bore of 20 over as you can see right there. 0 0.20 020. Those are set for the boring that I have. And you see the directional um, arrow that points to the front of the block as I install them. I pre-punched these. They came punched from the factory with some weird code, but I punched them myself. Um, this one, like you can see, is cylinder two, and I put a two on the back as well for me to be able to see uh, which one they go to. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to begin putting the bearings into the block. First, the crankshaft main bearings will go in, and then <clears throat> I'll set the crank. Oh, actually, there's no oil that goes in these journals. Um, the bearings go into the journals, and then uh, you oil the bearings, and then <clears throat> you do the same with the caps. <coughs> Excuse me. And once you're done with the caps, uh, you drop the crankshaft into position, um, and then I'm going to use plastic gauge to tell whether my bearings are the right size or not for the polish that I did on that crankshaft. So that begins the build, and uh, I'll make more videos as we go.